This time on Breaking Waves. Let's go fishing. Ben and I said goodbye to Friday Harbor and head out into the San Juan Channel, a channel that's known for its abundance of marine life. There wasn't a whole lot of wind to work with, but with a beautiful day on our hands, nobody was complaining. So we're testing out the autopilot for the first time. We're just motor sailing right now into a bit of a headwind but um, yeah the autopilot is amazing I've never had autopilot before and it's so sweet to be able to just well not to have to steer so we left Friday Harbor <clears throat> setting off towards I'm gonna say this wrong Susha I think Anchorage is our next one um, it means dirty in Spanish, which they named it after the water it has all sorts of kelp and algae in it that makes the water look really dirty. So, but it's really cute and apparently there's caves and stuff that you can explore. So I think Ben and I are looking forward to a little bit of a lower key day, just kind of chilling and exploring. And uh, yeah, so we got a nice closed reach. There's not too much wind, so we're motor sailing. Um, but it's a beautiful day. There's literally no clouds in the sky. Mount Baker is so clear. And the sun is out. It's a really nice day. This is a beautiful boat. Also, um, we have autopilot. No, I've never had autopilot before, obviously. And Ben hasn't either, so we can both kind of chill out while it, we just take our time getting there. It's wonderful. This is great. You hear that? No engine? <laughs> the sound of no engine! Because we are sailing, baby! Yeah, the wind is sw switching around quite a bit, but we ha are on a beam reach right now, hoping for a broad reach once we go around this peak. And we should be at Dirty Island in an hour! Whoop, woo! Sailing! Do you want to let the main sheen in? Do I want to let the main sheen in? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hi. How are you feeling right now, Captain? Yeah, I'm just saying that uh, I could do this for like hours on end. No complaints at all. <laughs> With autopilot and a good breeze. Just very content at the moment. Yeah, it's good. Uh, uh, uh. Colors I've Changing as I build my life around you, and time makes you older, even children get older, and I'm getting older. Dolphin. Is that a dolphin or is that a dolphin? <laughs> Officially complete. We have made it to Echo Bay on Susha Island. And made it we did to still to date one of my favorite anchorages. After stuffing our faces, tacos, fajitas, we head to shore.
Go on, this way. Suki Island is this cool little island that's mostly made of sandstone that the wind and the waves have whipped around to make into caves and cool designs. Okay. <laughs> There's also a lot of hikes and even some campsites. Not a bad spot. Been having kind of a lazy morning here at Sukia, and I went for well. I mean, Ali did yoga, and I went for a run. And Bruce came, and he had a swim, so he's he's still just drying off a little, but he's pretty tuckered out now. And I'm doing some uh, some reading, my new favorite book, because I know nothing about diesel engines, but I'm learning. Who comes to save the Coast Guard when this Coast Guard needs saving? Take your shirts off, boys. Tops off. Tarps off. <laughs> yeah, tops off. <laughs> They're like firefighters of the sea. I think they might actually have a little bit of an emergency going on here. I feel kind of bad for objectifying them. No, don't be right. <laughs> they apparently have a cracked pipe from the AC system and it is leaking into the bottom of their boat so they have about knee-high water down below and they are working on dewatering it <laughs> that's pretty intense that would be very scary one foot of water on the deck, foot of water on the, one foot under the deck one foot of water under the deck all right let's go Fishing. Going on a cool adventure and I don't know what's in store. So we're headed to the dinghy, then we're heading out the door. Ben and I were looking forward to trying out our new fishing gear, so we found a nearby reef and head out on the dinghy. Cute little guys, aren't they? They are. It had a pretty heavy current over top of it, so we tried trolling at first and then jigging for lingcod. Well, we came back empty handed, but we're still eating salad for lunch, and on a plus note, the Coast Guards are still here. Get to work. Get to work. Grab. Ah! So tonight I'm cooking and we're doing a campfire meal on shore and I've got some potatoes, and some chicken on the grill and some corn on the cob. This is the Why don't we try this? What do you think little goose? Will it work? This is cool. Get the stick. Go get that stick. Get some kindling. I read this book once. It's called Swell by Liz Clark. And she's a sailor who, um, she's trying to go around the world. Or her intention is to go around the world anyway, before she writes this book. Ow. She ends up in Fiji, South Pacific area. And uh, one of the main themes in her book is that with sailing, there come really high highs and really low lows and I think it was one of the reasons why I decided to commit to sailing is that I wanted to experience the highs just as much in my life
You dirty dog. You're definitely sleeping in the beaver. <laughs> Literally never. On the next episode of Breaking Waves. 5.30 a.m. here. We're up early to catch some wind. Ben and I continue to sail our new boat back home. There's another thing on the boat that we don't know how it works yet. We find a nude beach on the way and attempt docking in one of the busiest cities in Canada. Yeah, yeah it was probably the worst docking experience I've ever had. <laughs>